Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the Chevrolet Corvette C7 GR4. Now this car can only be purchased at the Brand Central under the Chevrolet dealership and it costs 350,000 credits to buy. We'll start by going over some of this vehicle specs. First, this is a GR4 race car, and it comes with 648.25 performance points. It has an FR drivetrain, meaning that the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle, and the rear wheels drive the car. The maximum power is 414 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. The weight is just under 3,000 pounds, and the engine is naturally aspirated. Now we'll click on this car, and one of the cool things about buying a car at... Uh, brand central is that you get to choose the color of the car now this car comes in four different colors from brand central at the chevy dealer and here are those four colors the livery stays the same but the color changes so you'll choose one of these four colors back out to the previous menu and click on purchase to buy the car in that color now we'll click on learn more and see what martin has to say about this car this Gran Turismo GR4 original was built with the Corvette C7 as its foundation. The car behaved like a true FR machine with awesome acceleration and great cornering prowess. Alright, that's everything we can learn about this car from Brand Central. Now we'll back out to the main menu and we'll go next door, or down the street I should say, to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. So here at the garage, I'll click on change car, we'll scroll down to this vehicle, click on it, listen to the startup sound, and then we'll learn some more about it. Alright, we'll click on car collection, go to this vehicle, and we'll learn some more by reading this short description about it. The daunting Stingray badge returns with the 7th Gen Chevrolet Corvette. In 2013, the much-anticipated 7th Generation Corvette was introduced as a 2014 model. What made this car stand out from previous iterations of America's sports car was that it wore the Stingray badge, which had previously been bestowed upon only the best of the best. Like the 1963 Stingray, the new VET featured cutting-edge technologies head-turning styling, and heart-pounding performance. With 454.6 horsepower and 460 foot-pound of torque, the optional performance exhaust model got you 459.6 horsepower and 465.1 foot-pound of torque. It's the most powerful Corvette to date. With the available Z51 performance package, the new Stingray ran from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, and showed equally awesome stopping power, coming to a halt from 60 miles per hour in 107 feet. It handled like an exotic, registering 1.03 G on the skid pad. Put all those attributes together, and the 2014 Corvette Stingray lapped Virginia International Raceways, or VIR, 4.2 mile grand course in a blistering 2 minutes and 51.78 seconds. The new Corvette Stingray was built atop an all-new aluminum frame structure and chassis and powered by a new engine with a slew of cutting-edge technologies. Because the car was developed as a convertible, both the coupe and open-air versions shared the same structure, powertrain, and performance technologies. Highlights include advanced driver technologies including a 5-position drive mode selector that tailors 12 vehicle attributes to fit the driver's environment, as well as a new 7-speed manual transmission with active rev matching, which anticipates gear selections and matches engine speed for perfect shifts every time. An all-new 6.2-liter LT1 aluminum V8 engine that combines advanced technologies, including direct injection, active fuel management, continuously variable valve timing, and an advanced combustion system that delivers more power while using less fuel. Lightweight materials including a carbon fiber hood and roof panel, composite fenders, doors, and rear quarter panels, carbon nano composite underbody panels, 
and a new aluminum frame that helps shift weight rearward to achieve near 50-50 weight balance. A sculptured exterior with advanced high-intensity discharge and LED lighting, as well as race-proven aerodynamics for improved stability and track capability. Track-capable Z51 performance package including an electronic limited slip differential, dry sump oiling system, integral brake, differential and transmission cooling, and a unique aero package that further improve high-speed stability. And the asterisk at the bottom, this model was specially tuned to meet GR4 regulations by Gran Turismo. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car from the garage with some great information about the C7 Corvette from Gran Turismo's description. Now we'll back out to the main menu once again, and we're going to go next door to the cafe where we'll see if anybody's here to talk to us about this car. And unfortunately, there's no one here to talk to us about this particular vehicle. I figured there wouldn't be because this car was specially tuned by Gran Turismo and isn't an actual vehicle. But uh, if they were here, they'd be next to this trophies icon. Not to worry, we're going to make one final stop at the tuning shop where I'll show you everything that can be done to improve this car's performance and power. All right, here at the tuning shop, you have to remember that this car comes from the dealership as a race car. So it already has a lot of these parts either added to it already, or it has superior parts to the ones that are available at the tuning shop. But I will still show you everything that can be done to this vehicle. Under the sports category, you can see that nothing here is available except for the tires. Under club sports, it's much of the same story. In fact, the only two things that you can add to the car are power reducing items, such as the power restrictor and the ballasts. Under semi-racing, you can add a fully customizable computer, the low-end torque supercharger, the fully customizable LSD, and the fully customizable manual transmission, but everything else on this page is not available for purchase. And lastly, under the racing category, you can add a high-end supercharger, the racing muffler, the slotted discs racing brake kit, the brake balance controller, the fully customizable suspension, the fully customizable racing transmission, and any of the racing tires. But everything else on this page, as with the others, is not available for purchase. So while there's not a whole lot that you can do to this car, there is some that can be added to it to help you get that edge and hopefully help you cross the checkered line first. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car from Gran Turismo 7, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.